Rector, Arkansas Police. Right here, there's Glenn Sane. Glenn Sane. So you see, you see, I'm right here in Rector, Arkansas anyways. Um, I've been living here now, going off and on for about three years. I, uh, the Rector Police, I mean, look, I'm not against police. I had some videos on here. My videos got deleted. I'm not going to stop making my videos. My videos are going to stand until I get $50,000. And ain't nobody sitting here trying to extort nobody or extort nobody out of money. I want what's, what I got coming, okay? First off, last year, October 13, the Rector Police came to my house. Some lady said or somebody said I did something on a BMX at midnight. First off, if a person does a crime on a bike at midnight, how do you know who that person is? You can't tell unless they get close up face to face. Now, if I'm going to do something, it's not going to be on a bike. It's not going to be in my car because I know how prosecutors work. I'm not going to do anything in this town. If I want to do a crime or I'm going to do something, I'm going to drive to Dallas or somewhere big. I'm going to do something where nobody sees me, so then there's no case and I get smooth away with it. Okay, but the point is, these cops come wake me up because somebody said I did a crime on my bike, which I don't know anyone over the railroad tracks, okay? And how do you know who a person is on a bike unless you just got everybody labeled and wrote down? That's a proof of discrimination. People have discriminated against me. Attorneys will not do nothing. When I first moved here two years ago, I was accused of wanting to blow up a McDonald's and Social Security office, set in jail for six months in Kennett, Missouri. Under false allegations, a woman wrote a bogus statement on me. She had never met me and seen me. And I went to jail. The rector police come to my house and arrested me. They violated my rights. The police violated my rights in Kennett, Missouri. Then they turned around and threw me into a murder case of a guy named Croy King that killed an innocent black girl in an apartment, in a bathtub, told everybody the story about it, which, I mean, people brag about what they do. And then all suddenly, out from nowhere, I got this subpoena right here. This is a true subpoena right here with my name on it and Croy King's name on it. All suddenly... They tell me I got to go to court and talk about what this dude told me. And then there's like 19 other people he told the story to. Now, I done moved here. I done got thrown in a murder case, which I didn't live nowhere around here. Do I know anybody in Kennett or anywhere around here? Then the police come to my house. Now, I read the motion discovery that Rick the police wrote and... I read it all. I'm not a fool. I can read. And uh, they wrote on the motion discovery that I had the same lullabies here, the same story that I wanted to hurt cops here and I wanted to blow up stuff here. Well, there's not a McDonald's here. It was all false allegations. The police never heard me say it. These were other people here just talking. When it comes down to the law, that's all talk is. It's false allegations. The, if nobody confesses to nothing, then there's nothing on anybody. So, uh, you know, I did everything I could do. I did everything anybody else would do. I tried to get attorneys out of St. Louis, Missouri. I tried to get attorneys here in Arkansas. I called Little Rock. Nobody wanted to sue the police department here or uh, do anything for me for discrimination, which I can prove I'm being discriminated against because people know I'm part black and I'm Indian, Irish, Dutch and Italian. And there's not a lot of black people here. So, you know, before we even moved here years ago, they used to lynch black people and they had a sign that said, don't walk on the streets after dark. I don't know why the hell my parents moved here. They said because it was cheap. OK, they didn't know half of the stuff that that I know now until after we moved here. All I'm saying is I want $50,000. My rights was violated. I was falsely put in jail in Kennett, Missouri. Did nobody pay me nothing there. I'm banded out of all social security offices worldwide. And it says on the news on my YouTube video, Kennett, Missouri, no evidence on YouTube. There was no evidence founded upon me. And they got an incoming call at a McDonald's that led to me. Now, if someone calls you, how do you lead, lead a phone call to me? My phone's prepaid. My phone is a Texas number. So there's thousands of people from Texas that travel. You're not going to know that I stay in Rector, Arkansas. But how it happened is I made the phone call. 
whenever the guard pushed me and the cops didn't do anything. And then 430, the cops did not show up to Social Security office. Then the cops showed up to my house two o'clock in the morning with FBI, Homeland Security, SWAT team, K-9 units, dogs. They come over, direct the police, threatening my father. And then, you know, this was when it happened two years ago. And then here recently, a few Weeks back, a dude in a Crown Vic drove past our house, some kids with a shotgun sticking out the window, pointing at my dad. And my dad pulled his gun out and shot the warning shots in the ground, you know, because they were trying to drive around, act like they was the police. Now, Rector caught them and let them go. But they came over and told my father that he was wrong for uh, defending himself, that he didn't have a right to do what he did well my dad said i could have shot the little son of a bitches sticking their shotgun out the window at me you know and ever since then we ain't seen them they weren't from around rector now where we come from texas cops are gonna be like well why are you over here you're not from here what county are you from they were in a blue crown vic it was a black and white skinny kid looked like gumby you know and um ever since we moved here it's just been bs bs with glenn sane I got kicked out of Subway because I told a lady, don't be hollering at me. I got kicked out of Glen Sane because I stood up for myself. They messed my alignment up. And then I come back two months later to buy some used tires and the mechanic goes off on me, pushes me. Wreck the Arkansas police did not do anything to that man pushing me. Okay, I just told these people this dude put his hands on me. He should have went to jail. Oh, no, nah, but somebody in Kennett, Missouri says that my voice is a voice they heard and they don't even know me. And here comes the the police to my door. I'm not saying that I have anything against the police. I'm just saying that these people owe me something. It's traumatizing what they did to me in Kennett and what I've been put through here. And I should be paid something. Anybody else would want some money. Anybody else would want to sue Kennett, Missouri. Anybody else would stand up for themselves and talk. And Social Security still ripping me off on my disability benefits. And I get a bis disability check because of my arm. And that's it. But at the same time, don't, don't sit there and think I'm going to forget about it because I'm not. It's like a little kid getting raped. They're traumatized. I'm traumatized. It's been four years. And I still can't stop talking about what they done did. When I get some money, I'll be quiet. Until then, I'm going to keep talking. You put me in jail. Over doing a video of freedom of speech, I'm going to uh, take it to a trial. I'm going to tell my whole story how I'm telling it now. It's not against the law for me to tell what I've been through since I've been here. I don't see how I'm breaking in law doing that. And I'm going to do another video until I get some money. And then y'all violated my rights. The director of police came to my house, not just accusing me of something because somebody else told them I did something. But when they came and arrested me over that McDonald's stuff, they knew better. They've also violated my rights because they helped the Kennet, Missouri police put me in jail and they sat there and knew that I was going jail over false allegations. And then when we called the police or my dad calls them and we tell them this guy's driving by in the Crown Vic and they stop him. Then they say, oh, this is false allegations that we didn't see. We didn't see the person put a gun out the window. So it's false allegations. So if this is all false allegations, what people do to us at our house. And how the fuck did I go to jail over a false allegation? And why were y'all handcuffing me? You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make no sense, man. Wreck the Arkansas police, all these police out here. And then I get thrown in a murder case, bro. It don't make no damn sense. And then they told me if I drove back up here on the date that they was having his trial, they would reburnish me for my money so i had left when i got out of jail and went to texas and then they they had me come back so i drove back up here because i went back to live up there with some friends but my father and them owned the house here and got a d so when i drove back up here it was like okay now what do i do okay well they didn't give me my money for driving back up here so i just stayed stuck here so they fucking lied to me again. And they said they were reburnish me for gas. All I had to do was go in court and be like, this guy said this, he said that. I said, well, what if I don't say anything? Well, you're going to get a year in jail for not talking. Talking about what? These motherfuckers are so crazy in Kennedy, Missouri. They already got the case against the man and, and they can convict them and execute the guy. And they just want to, you know, I ain't never seen no people like this around here, man. And if somebody don't want me living here, yo, shoot me ten thousand dollars. I'll pack my shit and leave. I'll come back and visit my dad and them twice a year. If you don't want me here, all I need is some money. Get the hell out of here. 
That's all I need. Shoot me fifteen thousand dollars and I'll pack and leave and won't nobody see me because I'm at least worth that. All right. Thank you. Deuces.